Hail to the king, baby. Today I'm going to give a little indie spotlight to a game called Killer Frequency, developed by Team17 who have published some really cool games as of late. Killer Frequency surprised the hell out of me in all the best ways. The game instantly reminded me of Firewatch due to the intimately personal and involved back and forth between Forrest and Peggy. Ready, Peggy? Are you sure? We've only got one shot at this. I'm sure. Let's do this. Our conversations work is very reminiscent of Henry and Delilah's conversations in the aforementioned Firewatch. to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well... The ever-present dark humor mixed with this horror puzzle adventure was so intriguing and exciting for me. I love puzzle adventure games, and if you add horror, I'm pretty much instantly sold. That's why it only took me watching the trailer on launch day for me to purchase the game. I was really engrossed in the extremely detailed and surprisingly dense radio station and all the secrets that it held. There were so many references to horror movies and several cassettes or vinyls to find hidden around the station. The way they integrated the radio show calls into puzzles you had to solve in the station and over the phone to help people survive, but also be given the chance to fail and then be responsible for their deaths was pretty fun, but also pretty horrifying. The weight of death inadvertently caused by your actions felt heavy, but the constant levity through humor made it a bit lighter than you'd expect. Oh, what small business do you own? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion, but uh, since you ask, it's Porsche's Pizza! The best and only pizza place in town! Come on down and get yourself a cracking deal on our two-for-one God damn it, Porsche, no! No free ads! With stellar voice acting and mostly fantastic writing, it really kept me hooked, especially as the game went on, and the mystery went deeper and deeper into unknown territory, digging deeper into the town's shady past and present. None of us are innocent, but I don't think we deserve killing. All I hope now is that I can save some folk from the worst. The game has a really well done stylized, comic book-esque look to it, and everything feels just right for an 80s horror movie setting. I don't want to spoil much, but there's such a fantastic twist in this game that you have to experience for yourself. It's hard not to talk about it, but all I can say is, it doesn't disappoint. It may not scare your pants off, but man, is it engaging and slightly addicting to play. It's slow, but it's quick, with a runtime around 5 hours or so. Just play it slow and take it all in, because it's pretty dense for such a small game. Team 17 did a magnificent job with this little gem, and I think it would be cool to see more games of this style, or even another game with Forest in another town. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.